It is a new year in the nation's capital, and one of my New Year's resolutions this year was to be kinder to those less fortunate than myself. And so today, I am volunteering and helping Michael Ignatieff move into Stornoway, his new digs. Hello, Michael. How are you? Hi, oh, Rick. Nice Good to see, see you, you, sir. Is this your first day at Stornoway? It is indeed. It is the. I have been in Stornoway in the lower floors, you know. You've never been upstairs. I have never been. Upstairs. I've already been upstairs. I've never been in the kitchen. I've never been anywhere. Good. Where's the Iranian sure. embassy? Isn't it right there? That's it. That's it. The Iranian embassy. But it's empty now. Do you know who should move in there? Stephen Harper. Because Harper, of course, is leaving 24 Sussex Drive for the renovation. I'll tell you something, Rick, what? which I've not said before. It's what? a true story. We offered the Harper family Stornoway. And we offered them... Why, of course, did you? We did. No, seriously, we yeah. did because... He needs a house he's got, he's got his children in the school nearby. Yeah. They're closing down 24 Sussex for renovations. We had not moved in. Seriously, we, well, we offered it to him, and, and he didn't think that was appropriate, which I respect, but... Why don't you move in together? I think that's pushing parliamentary working together a little far, Rick. No, why not? No. Coalition? Ooh. Cohabitation? Ooh. Now, I'm helping you. I'm really helping you move today. Yeah, you yeah. are. Yeah. Well, now, I want some serious work out of you, now Mercer. Now, you're here. I, don't want, I want some boxes to be lifted yes. by you. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear. But now, you're here. You're on the receiving end. And your wife, Susanna, is where? She is at? She's at the condo. That's where you normally live before right. you got the swanky dig. Yes. I will, get in the, uh, I will get in the car and I'll go find the movers. Okay. And Susanna. And okay. what do you do? You're going to sit here and lead? I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Rick. Nice to see you. Mike. Hey, Mike. Wayne. Hi, Wayne. How are you? Good. I'm here to help you move. And this is usually a two-man job, eh? If it's a small move, yeah. And now you have me. Two men and a boy. <laughs> That's a big truck. Are, they, are you going to fill this truck no. with Ignatius books? <laughs> All written by him and unsold. It's tragic. I feel bad I'm not carrying something. This is it, eh? Hello. Come in. Hello, Susanna. How are you? I'm very well. Nice, nice to nice see to, you. Very nice to Thanks see you. Thanks for having us over. It's, it's a great pleasure. So this is the kitchen. This is the living room. Yes. This is the library, I take it? He actually reads aloud to me because I've got oh, an that's... eye problem. It's, it's... You have an eye problem? Mm -hmm. So he reads aloud to you? Mm -hmm. That's very romantic. It is very romantic, actually. We read all the um, Russian classics together. We just, we just finished the Don Quixote, a beautiful new translation. <laughs> really, I know, I know, it's sad. <laughs> Michael Ignatiev, The Warrior's Honor, Ethnic War and the Modern Conscience. Oh, I read this one. This is really funny. Perfect. This is what I do for my country. It's flimsy. Why is it so flimsy? It's probably European or something. Are we in here? Yeah. It's kind of weird. I've never really met the guy, and now I'm dragging his mattress over the storm away. It's a, it's a weird old world. Sorry. There you go. I'll see you at storm away. OK. Whoa. Careful. Yeah. Yeah. Careful. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. I got, I, got it. I got it. You got it? I got it. Oh, I got it. 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 So you've never been upstairs? Never. This is the very first time. Let I'm a little apprehensive here. This Let is where me I'm show you live. around. Hey, what do you think? It wow. shows nice. I, I feel like a real estate agent I know. on one of those tacky real estate shows. There's your tub. What's, what's it going for, Rick? My this God. isn't a room. This is a closet. I have never seen so much closet space in my life. Your wife is going to be some happy that you came back and decided to run Canada. Look at this. This is Imelda Marcos shoe space, don't no, you No, because John Dietenbaker had a foot fetish. <laughs> <laughs> and this was built for him. Now that's a real surprise. Oh, like you're ever going to be in here. Instruments of torture. I'm not in the business of advising politicians what they should and shouldn't do on television. But, but I should not be doing this. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> You shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> you could have moved in on the ground floor. There's that nice sitting area. Uh, left, left. Left. No more to the left. Well, who's more? left? My ben, Ben, left. Mercer, Ben. Let me show you something. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look what I just found. Shoe closet. Mr. Big, you shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Try that. <laughs> There we go. I'm not much for lifting, really. 
Yeah, it's hard work, this, it uh, is. this moving in stuff, isn't it? The, yes. Why would you want this job? Like, what are the Tories going to do to you? You saw what they did with Dion. They got the picture of him like this, and then they just put it on a loop. It was on a loop. It's still on the website. You go to the conservative website today, they still have pictures of Dion going, what are they going to do to you? What are they going to call you? Egghead. I don't, Nerd. I don't care. Intellectual. I don't care. I don't know if you know this about me, but um, I'm not easily intimidated. But when I read your CV... It's very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that, this notion now that if you're an intellectual, or if you're smart at all, or if you went to university, or God forbid you taught at a university, somehow you're, you're not fit for public office? I don't think Canadians buy it. And Canadians are fair, and we, I've got to get out there and tell my story. And if Canadians like the story, I'll be fine. If they don't, I don't. the key here is yeah. they are the boss. They are. And this is their house, you see. <clears throat> this is their house. This is the people's and house. this is their beer. This is their beer. <laughs> it's not, actually. It's my beer. I bought the beer. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Thank Thanks for, for uh, you know, very, letting very me help you move and oh, lug stuff. Kind. Thank you, Rick. Okay. Thank uh, you. We got the brand new Stornoway guest book. Yes, and you want me to be the first one to sign it. No, I want you to be the third. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Great. Whenever you use that box spring, think of me. <laughs>